Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Gardener. So I was doing a little bit of cleaning uh, of my succulents and I'm planning to do a small little setup. I found some uh, glass on the roadside uh, which were uh, the perfect uh, shape that I was looking for and I'm planning to do a new setup. I will definitely uh, post a video once it's uh, completed. Uh, today it is uh, quite sunny. It hasn't been raining today. Uh, it's been raining on and off from past couple of weeks and everything is uh, moist, wet, a lot of humidity. Uh, but luckily, uh, most of my succulents have retained their color. Uh, as you can see, my uh, purple delight looks fantastic. Absolutely beautiful color. Uh, my marpin has lost the color, but there has been a good amount of growth. Very excited about it. Uh, these were some more of uh, probably some cuttings that I had put in this pot and they are also doing quite well. Uh, again, over here we have uh, Purple Delight. Uh, this is a patch of item variety. I'm not very sure about the uh, exact ID. Uh, this is uh, Polydonis and you can see it's lost its color. But uh, as long as they're doing quite well, uh, no issues. Uh, this one I am not very sure about the ID. Uh, it was uh, completely red in color but uh, off late it has uh, turned green and only the edges are uh, slightly red uh, but it was completely dark red in color looked absolutely beautiful i couldn't even recognize the plant because again uh, the same thing this plant has also grown quite a bit because of the monsoon season and uh, you remember my uh, Graptosedum uh, California Sunset, they are also doing quite well. But I wanted to show you this particular uh, variety of Echuaria. I'll put up the uh, name on the screen. I think it's a uh, Wan. Uh, now, I have been looking out for this Echuaria from a very, very, very long time. Uh, unfortunately, it's not readily available in uh, my city or in my location but finally I happened to find it uh, when I seen the seller was selling this I was super excited I went ahead and purchased it and when it came it was basically a cutting without any roots it looked like it is about to die and I was quite worried about it you can still see uh, the older leaves have wrinkles but now there is a little bit of new growth uh, I'm quite relieved but again I'm not very sure how well this plant will do I'm not even sure if there are a good amount of roots uh, because when I put it in it did not have a single root it was a cutting and I paid a huge amount for it and what I got was a very tiny little cutting uh, this is grown right now uh, when I got it it was only like this tiny part that I got and I was quite upset with it and uh, the seller said that was the only one that was available and i was like okay fine i'll give it a try if it works it works if it doesn't uh, we can't do much uh, after a very long search i happened to find it and i didn't want it to give up so i planted it uh, it looks okay but again i'm not very sure uh, the older leaves have still some wrinkles uh, it feels it's stiff in the soil which means there might be some roots uh, i watered it yesterday uh, so far it's looking okay but again I'm not very sure how well it will do because it's very very tiny at this point of time. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed and hope it starts to uh, grow bigger which again it's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, but uh, yes at times this happens you tend to find your wishlist plant and when you receive it it's in not that right condition that you see because a lot of times in the images the succulent tends to look like it's very large but when you receive it it's very tiny and in fact this one did not even have roots i was quite surprised because it looked really large and mature in uh, the images but when i got it you know it was like this a lot of times what these sellers also tend to do is when they have a huge demand for a particular plant they tend to do cuttings and then they sell those cuttings uh, luckily the cutting did survive in the transit uh, when I had taken it out from the uh, tissue paper, I was very surprised to see it and I thought it wouldn't make it. But so far, it's doing quite well. I hope it works out really well. Other than that, uh, a lot of these uh, succulents are doing quite well. Uh, my Senecio is also doing quite well. Remember, as I showed you that uh, the white coating, it's more like a paper-like coating that they have on them. And uh, that got ripped out because of... Uh, 
the strong wind i don't know what this is or whether it's a new plant or it's a flower because this is the first time i'm growing this variety so i do see something growing probably it's a flower i'm not very sure uh, but if it's a flower that's a good sign that indicates that the plant is very comfortable and uh, happy in its uh, environment so overall all of the plants are doing quite well as i said i am doing a little bit of uh, the setup uh, once that's completed i'll definitely keep you guys updated and uh, my dusty rose is doing quite well but unfortunately uh, my dog accidentally happened to knock off this portion of the succulent i don't know if it's going to survive because it did get wet in the rain and that stem doesn't look that great uh, i have touched the stem the stem feels stiff so i don't think it's a stem rot but uh, probably her tail or a paw happened to uh, knock off couple of leaves and then it got wet in the rain i didn't realize it uh, but overall the colors have started to come back uh, i'm very surprised despite uh, it being very cloudy most of the succulents are uh, very nicely colored uh this is more than what i expected because ideally during uh the monsoon season a lot of them turn completely green but this year uh, most of them have still a good amount of color on them like that echeveria as well uh this one also was completely red but now it has uh, only some red on the edges as i said i don't have any issues even if they lose all the color there is no issue for me what's more important is that the succulent is doing quite well and uh so far these are all doing quite well and uh, this one is my uh, margaret repin graptoveria uh, which is also doing quite well this is supposed to be a very uh, delicate succulent uh, when it comes to moisture they do not like a lot of moisture they prefer a good amount of sunlight 5 to 6 hours in between i had pushed it a little bit back and uh, it was starting to stretch but now luckily Uh, it is starting to get a little bit compact on the crown area which is very exciting otherwise uh, uh, it looks really terrible if it starts to stretch because the beauty of this uh, succulent is on those uh, beautiful tips as you can see uh, they make the succulent look absolutely stunning so all three of them are doing quite well and in fact uh, there are a couple of pups also growing as you can see Uh, which again i'm not going to be separating now because of the monsoon season everything is going to be kept aside so i will show you once the setup is done hopefully it does not rain so that i can shoot the video soon uh, because the climate is really really uh, unpredictable it tends to rain there is so much of wind uh, and i have to keep running around with the plastic sheet to cover the succulents so that they don't get wet excessively otherwise that will lead to rot and again if the soil tends to stay moist and if they keep getting watered then the colors will also start to reduce so i have to keep a lot of things in mind so it's more about running around with the plastic sheet putting on the plastic sheet and once the rain stops take it off wait for a good amount of sunlight to fall onto them and then again within couple of minutes it starts to rain again i have to put the plastic sheet so there's a lot of work that is uh, going on behind that so i have to be a little bit careful uh, otherwise it is going to be very difficult to keep our succulents compact and colored if uh, we don't take good amount of care i wish i had a permanent setup like a polycarbonate roof that would have worked out really well but because this is a rented property i can't do much i can't do any uh, permanent changes to this place probably one day if i purchase this place i can probably do something about it until then uh, the struggle is going to be there running around with the plastic sheet and covering them so we will see how it works that's about it i hope that you like this video if you did please hit the like button and if you new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep planting